Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking small air mouse remote. It has a backlit plus it's a voice controlled and it's an air mouse remote. It is modeled G10S Pro and is done by a company that we could not even say the name properly but it is STRQ UA and you can see that the box is really nicely designed so this will bring a lot of things on the table for you you can control your regular android boxes plus you can also use this on your windows environment and also linux so this way you're going to be able to do your presentations if you have some or you want to use it on your android boxes doesn't matter if it is an iptv or different type of boxes this will really help you out i do not want to forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button, share this with your friends and family and click the notification icon so you will be notified once we have a new video out. Plus, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of this video. We love to help you out ASAP. Alright, you can see that the box is really nicely designed. Opening the box. The components that are part of this are, it comes with a user manual, which has everything informed in the front. Once you open it, it has more information, but it's very tiny the way that they have written this up. And then going in the back part of it is everything in a, one of the Chinese languages. Now here comes the remote. So once we open it, it is very small. But again, you have all the buttons that you really need for a remote. Now let's open the back. And here is the USB dongle that you need. And it does take two AAA batteries, which is not included in the box. So the USB dongle is also sitting inside of a little plastic bag. And it is not that big. You can see it. And it is USB 2.0, so you cannot make it USB 3, but this is 2.4 gigahertz receiver. So this is how you're going to be able to manage to control your boxes. It's just by connecting this. So we will put this and let's go back to the remote itself. The remote has all of the buttons set up properly. So this is plastic. And once you go here, it has a really cool rubber that they used. So going on the top part of it, you have a button, but it has a nice cut. And there are some little indicators on the top you can see right here. And then you do have the play and pause. You do have the air mouse button. Then this is the four-way navigation key. So you have the navigation and then the OK button in the middle. And also you have the home and then also the return key as the same button. And then you do have the menu and also the backlit button is right here. So you can light up. We will show you in a few seconds. You do have the page up and down, the mic button, which is really required these days, and then the volume up and down. You do have the delete button and the mute button sitting right side by side. Again, the cuts are really nicely done. You can see it as if I'm showing you this way. There you go. And you can see everything around. It does have a IR sensor right here in the, on the top. You can see that too. But going on the back, it doesn't have much information. So let's go through and connect this and show you how good this remote is. So here we go, we just have one light on and now when we press the light button, this is how nice it looks. So when you're in the total pitch dark, this is the color you should see. And now you can go through and you can navigate and everything without even bothering anybody else by turning on the light or it's not going to hurt your eyes so you know exactly what button you're going to press. So let's go through and see how these buttons really function one by one. We will show you and we will cut the video for you. So here's one thing. When the dongle is not connected and you want to press any button, you will see that this little red light is blinking. So now when we hook up the USB, you should see that that's not going to blink like that anymore. That means it's connected. So now we have the air mouse connected properly on our box. So I'm just going to roll and then I'm going to select something. So here you go. Now, once you connect the dongle, 
And once you press any button, it just blinks. It doesn't keep blinking. That means the USB is connected. So now the good part is that if you use the navigation keys as I'm pressing right now, you can see it on the screen that it is selecting the two apps that I'm going to. And if I go up, it does select the other apps really nicely. So the box that I'm using today is my Buzz TV XPL 3000, which is 2017 edition. So this remote really works with it. So that's not the only thing. Let's turn on the mice or we call it mouse, the air mouse. And there you go. So you can see when I turn my hand around, it works. So this is what we really like to click on and let's see. And it just opens up. Now, if I have to go up and down by holding the OK button, it works perfectly too. So this is what we really want out of this. So let's turn that off or go to Google. We will launch it. And now if I have to turn on my mouse and I click on this little button and now you can see that it is listening to my voice and now it's doing the work that I want them to do is dictating and grabbing my voice and searching it on Google itself. And it's just keep going to write it as whatever we're going to say, it's just going to work there for you. So that's the beauty of it. So now if I press the mic button again, it's just going to turn it off as easy as that. Now if I have to press home, it just directly goes back home. If I have to press it twice, it basically takes you back and back to get back home. So those two buttons really function together. The only thing is that this one I really like is the light that goes on and off. So this we are going to be able to manage. Now if I have to go to live TV, I know that the page up and down will work. And also same going with the delete button. So if I have to go into something and I want to delete a writing, that will really help me out. And also I have the mute button. So if I have to press it, you can see that the volume on the top just got muted. And if I have to press the volume up or down, I have to turn this off first. And if I have to press the volume up or down, if I am inside of a video, this will really help you out, except that it doesn't work on a main screen. Now, another thing is the power. So if I have to press the power, it just go into go to sleep mode. And if I have to press it again, it comes back on. Now, if I have to hold this for a few seconds, it depends which box you have. If you have an AM logic by pressing the power button for three seconds, you will be able to select your settings. So that way you can turn it on or turn it off. This really works for you. Now, if you don't want to turn it off, just press the back button and it will go away. So you can press and you can play with your box. So this is a beautiful remote that works with your boxes. And also this also works with Linux. And also this works with Windows. So if you have presentation on a projector, just hook this up to the side of your laptop or to the projector itself, and you will be able to control your settings as long as your projector do have Android built in and or you're going to connect this to your laptop that is connected to that. It will really help you out. So that way you can play and pause your videos or your presentation. I will be placing all the links where you can order this from. And also, if you need more help about this in the bottom of this video, except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places. And thank you.